Um, so I guess the, I mean, the, the issue that I think all marketers face at the top of the funnel is you have this dilemma between getting better quality leads, capturing more information about them and getting more leads because obviously the more questions you Our ask people, it's every step right. that you add, even in a chat, but uh, it's going to result in some people dropping before they reach the end of the of the of the lead capture process. I mean, one tactic that you could use to 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 get more efficient leads, like I mentioned at the beginning, with making your lead capture conversational, is uh, is to just change the lead capture method that you're using. So instead of using a form, which is what a lot of people do, if you see a five or six field form that has these qualification questions in it, a lot of people are going to look at that form and they're going to close the page. Uh, in fact, what I've found is a lot of customers, they procrastinate. They tell themselves they're going to come back and fill out the form, but they're not going to do it right now, uh, which sucks because you, as a marketer, you've invested time and money into bringing that person to your page. Uh, so one tactic that you could use is to change your lead capture method uh, from a form to a um, from a form to uh, to a chatbot. But another one is again to get more effective at addressing the questions that people have when they are on your page. Um, you don't have to do it through a chatbot. Whatever you find works for you. Addressing that decision-making uncertainty that buyers have is probably the best lead qualification tactic out there because I what I've found what I've noticed when I when I'm writing case studies and I'm listening to customer calls is that for a lot of folks the issue of lead quality sort of manifests itself in the sales process where sales becomes a lot harder when people still have questions that are unanswered and they enter your funnel uh, you when, when you're on a call talking to someone, if you haven't done an effective job at the, at the top of the funnel to answer people's questions, those sales calls that you're having, those sales conversations that you're having become way longer because you have to answer oh, yeah. all of these basic questions that are already there on, on your website. And that can get very frustrating if you, uh, if you, if you work in sales, I'm sure. Uh, but I'd say that trying to address a lot of that uncertainty at the top of your funnel when people are still on your page can go a long way in uh, helping you qualify your leads better. Um, and the best part about it is if you're really good at conveying that information and figuring out what the questions that your customers have, um, what questions your customers have when they're on your page, you can even weed out the people who are who are bad leads because if they are able to find information on the page that tells them that maybe this product is not for them, then they won't share their email, they won't get onto that sales call and then leave further down the funnel after wasting your sales team's time. Um, yeah, that would be yeah. my day. I think even with, um, you know, even if you don't have the more sophisticated tools that are like kind of, you know, building on a conversation intelligently behind the scenes, um, it it's the number one thing you can be testing is like your messaging and positioning. So if someone comes to your page and it's unclear to them, I mean, I, you know, we suffer from it as well. Like we're an email marketing tool, but I can't tell you how many times people come through and they're like, I don't even know what I filled out. You know, it's a form. It's like yeah. they just put their information and in, they see an ad. They think it sounds interesting. Well, it's really it comes down to like making sure that you're attracting the right people. So maybe you're looking at the channels that you're using to drive leads to your site to begin with. And then once they get to that page, making sure that you've put together the information that's really going to address their pain points and help them reach that aha moment even before they've opted in to hear more about it. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, I think we've we've had, we've had similar problems and we're guilty. Yeah, it's software problems. Yeah, yeah.